Welcome back to 12 days of Christmas workouts. This is day three. So today we're gonna to tone those legs and sculpt that booty. We won't be needing any equipment, just your bodies for this one. Make sure that you are subscribed if you're not already so that we can motivate each other and stay moving each day throughout this festive period. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna take it to the floor to start with. I want to see a nice four point kneel, bent knee kickback. So we lift the right leg and exhale, squeeze the glute as we lift that right heel. So driving through that heel, let's think about maintaining nice square hips here and a nice neutral spine. So my abs are drawn in tight. Think about your upper body posture staying really strong, your shoulder blades gliding down your back. So pure glute work into that right glute, but working those abs to keep you in neutral. Good. At 30 seconds, we're gonna keep that leg high. We're gonna just pulse out that leg. So in two, in one, lower the leg down, lift it back up and squeeze. So straight leg lifts in a pulse. So really lifting that glute here now, really maintaining nice tight core. Well done, bring it back in. Now we're gonna keep that leg bent and just come into our donkey kicks. So resetting, slide the shoulder blades down, draw those abs in. Let's get ready and drive that heel up towards the ceiling, lower the leg back down. So lifting, let the knee sweep just underneath your mat. Again at 30 seconds, we'll keep the leg high, working into just smaller pulses this time. Keep the toes flexed as well to work more hamstring and really get into that gluteal fold to lift the glute. Good, let's take it up and hold. Little pulses, lowering and lifting an inch. Nice square hips, really tight tummy here. Last 10 seconds. Keep pulsing away. Last one, bring the leg back in. We're gonna go straight to that left leg. So I'm just gonna turn around this way so you can see. Back to those bent knee kickbacks, really strong upper body, draw the abs in. Let's go, point and reach out through those toes. Let the leg just sweep in underneath you. Remember at that 30 seconds, I'll let you know, we're gonna go into those straight leg pulses. Breathing out to extend the leg, breathing in to draw the knee back in. Couple more, then we keep the leg long. Good, give me one more, then stay straight, lower the legs down, the toes down and lift. Tapping and squeeze to lift. Good, working that core here as well. Fifteen seconds. Good, last one there, and then we're gonna come into those donkey kicks. So resetting yourselves, this one is a bent knee the whole time. I wanna see those toes flexed. Draw the abs in tight, here we go. Lifting up. We wanna just go to that height before we start creating any arching through the back, so maintain that neutral spine for me. Good, couple more. Let me keep the leg high, little tiny pulses coming up in two. In one, keep the leg up high, little pulses. Try and press that heel towards the sky. Good, really stamp that foot. We go for 20 more seconds. This is where the magic is when it starts to burn. Let's try and lift and sculpt that booty for another 15 here. Last one, bring it down. 
This time we're laying straight on our backs for some bridges. I want your feet nice and close together. We're gonna squeeze your ankles and knees together. Just going to lift the hips up in one, squeezing the glutes at the top, lower everything in one. So drive through those heels to pick the hips up. Again, nice neutral spine. Reach out that tailbone towards your heels. If you want a little more, we're gonna rise those calves up. So your heels up to work the calves. So heel lift is optional. Really working those inner thighs. Keep your knees squeezing together. Imagine you've got the winning lottery ticket between those knees. You don't want it to fly away. At 30 seconds, we keep the hips high and pulse it out. Hold it up, little pulses. Keep the heels high if you can. Keep squeezing those knees and ankles. Almost there now. We're gonna take it up to standing position in 10. Last one, drop those hips down. Let's come up to standing. This is our plie squat, so nice wide turnout position. Keep your head stacked over your hips the whole time. We're just gonna slide straight down and then exhale to stand and squeeze. So squeezing the glutes at the top. Working those inner thighs, zipping them up as we stand. At 30 seconds, it is pulse time again. Push equally through both heels to lift back up. Nice and open knees in this one. Getting ready to pulse it out in another six. I'm gonna stay low in four, three, two. Stay low in one, little pulses. So just lifting up an inch or two. Let's work those inner thighs, tone those legs. Good, can we stay down low for another 15 seconds? Do not stand if you can. Stay with it for 10. We have three, two, and one. Come up all the way this time. Standing to the short end of your mat for a 90 lunge with a back kick. So we're gonna step back with that right foot, finding a 90 lunge. The big step back, lower yourself down. Now transfer your weight all over that front left leg and kick that right leg back. So drop it down to 90. Transfer the weight forward, find your balance. Hips and shoulders are just tracking forwards here. Got a little micro bend through your left knee. Keep this one nice and slow. At 30 seconds, we're gonna stay into that little lift, hold it there. Lower the foot down, lift it back up. Nice and slow and steady. If you'd like to advance, we're gonna reach those hands long. Keep those abs zipping in. Weight is all in my front leg. Working that quad, squeezing into that right leg. Well done guys, quick little shake out. We're gonna take it straight to that left leg this time. So left leg will step back. Take it back, finding your 90 lunge, knee over that ankle. Find your weight to transfer forward, squeezing into this glute as you lift that leg up. So we're down and nice straight spine as we transfer forward. Good, so chest over that front right knee. Getting ready to hold it up. Here we go, lower the foot down. Lift back up, tap and squeeze. Good, maybe we're reaching those hands here. Focus for under 15 seconds. Last one, and come back up. All right, two more exercises to go. Just a regular squat with halfway pulses. Coming up, so toes tracking forward. Feet underneath your hips, let's take it down into that imaginary chair. Come back up and squeeze those hips forward. So a bit of a faster pace on this one. 
drive through both heels to lift. Ski slope spine. Good, ready to stay low in seven seconds. Take it low on the next one. Little pulses, we're gonna lower and lift. Lower and rise. Weight should be all on those heels. Can we wiggle those toes to check? 20 seconds on the clock. Draw those ribs to hips. You've got it, 15 here. Stay low, see if you can stay low. Do not stand, just the 10. We can do this team. Four, three, two, and one. Stand up, 10 seconds reprieve. I've saved the best to last. You're welcome. We're gonna go into jump squats. A little bit wider with that stance this time. Drop it low and then lift up. So just a little spring, just a little jump. Nice and light when you land on those toes but sink your weight into those heels as you come down. If this one's too crazy for you, we're just gonna go here, but keep the tempo nice and quick. 40 seconds, day three, let's go. We've hit halfway. Jelly legs are setting in 20 seconds. We got this, 15. Don't stop now, we're almost there. Finishing up day three, nice and strong. Three, two, last one, and you are done. May not be able to walk tomorrow, but you are done. You can come into a bit of a stretch. If you need to hold on to something, go for it. Just opening up those hip flexors, just in your own time. And yeah, grab a drink of water. I think I need one. Amazing work. Thank you so much for joining me for day three. I look forward to seeing you for what's in store tomorrow, day four coming up.